we learned that recursive common table expression has three different members an anchor member a recursive member and a termination condition hey guys welcome back to our channel this channel avid science is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions in this video we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding hopper company queries part 2 the difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in uber interviews a couple of times also i am going to share the sql schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below okay the question reads we are given a table called drivers with two different columns driver id and join date driver id being the primary key for this table we are also given a second table called rides with three different columns ride id user id and requested at ride id being the primary key for this table each row contains the id of the ride the user's id that requested it and the date they requested it and there may be some ride request in this table that were not accepted we are also given a third table called accepted rides with four different columns ride id driver id ride distance and ride duration so ride id is the column that has unique values so obviously that is going to be the primary key each row of this table contains some information about an accepted ride and it is guaranteed that each accepted ride exists in the ride table okay we are asked to write a solution to report the percentage of working drivers that is working percentage for each month of 2020 where the percentage is calculated by using this formula number of drivers that accepted at least one ride during the month divided by the number of available drivers during the month multiplied by 100 note that if the number of available drivers during a month is zero we consider the working percentage to be zero return the result table ordered by month in ascending order where month is the month's number that is one for january two for february and so on we need to round the working percentage to nearest two decimal places let's go through this example we have various drivers in the drivers table their joint dates then there are there is a rights table as well as the accepted rights let's look at for the first month of 2020 that is by the end of january 2020 what is the working percentage to get the working percentage we firstly need how many drivers are available by the end of january of 2020 so by end of january 2020 you have two drivers driver id 10 and 8 because they joined on or before the last day of january 2020 so you have two available drivers and let's see how many of them accepted at least one ride in january of 2020 if we look at the rides table there is no requested ride in january of 2020 so obviously if there is no requested ride no ride can be accepted so the working percentage becomes zero because no none of the drivers accepted anything divided by there are two drivers present so the working percentage for month of january 2020 becomes zero percent and similarly we can extend this for other months of 2020 as well okay so to solve this question the entire data is scattered around in three different tables but firstly we need to make sure that we have every month of 2020 and we can get the every month of 2020 by using a concept called recursive common table expression which we learned about in the first part of this question as well just to recap in recursive common table expression we have three members an anchor member the starting query that initializes the re recursion we have a recursion member a query that references the common table expression itself and then we also need to have a termination condition that ensures the recursion stops so what we can do is we can start with that so the way to write a recursive common table expression is with recursive common table expression as and the entire query needs to be written within parentheses so return me firstly you need to have a anchor member so return me 2020 as year and one as month because you need to start somewhere then you union this with the self-referencing part that is return me the year value but in the month value keep on adding one from the common table expression that you get so it is referencing itself so that is why it is a recursive common table expression and then you need to have a termination condition so where your month is less than 12 if i go ahead and run this it is going to give me the month of 2020 1 through 12 so select star from common table expression if i go ahead and run this so now we can see that in our output what we have here is you have year 2020 and month 1 through 12 okay now once we have this then there is another thing that we can do is it says that the number of drivers that accepted at least one ride so you have the rides table as well as the accepted ride and if you perform an inner join of these two tables on the ride id column 
it is going to give you that hey in a particular requested ad that is in a on a particular day these many rides were accepted so what we can do is let's make another common table expression so cte2 as and then again we need to go through parentheses so from the rides table aliased as r let us perform an inner join on the accepted rides table aliased as a and since the name of the column is same in both the rights table and accepted rights table and we are performing the join on it we can use the using clause so using the ride id column and from this join we need to only keep certain columns which we are concerned about so let's only keep the ride id and requested at from the rights table and driver id from the accepted ride so let us keep r dot ride id r dot requested at and then we also need the a dot driver id okay if i go ahead and run this so let me change this from ct to ct2 and run this so if we look at this what we have here is all the accepted rides when they were requested and who was the driver who accepted it okay once we have these two pieces of information that is every month of 2020 and how many rides were accepted on what particular day by what driver then we can go ahead and solve this question so what we need is for every month of 2020 that is from this common table expression cte let's alias this as c we need to perform a left join because we need to keep all the months of 2020 now we need to firstly find how many drivers are at the end of a particular month the way to do that is by the last date of every month you need to make sure the join date is on or before that so let us perform a left join on the drivers table aliased as d and the way we are going to perform this join is on let us do last day of the concatenated value from so in the city you have year and month right so you do c dot year then you have a dash then you have c dot month and then finally you also have the first day so dash 01 so this is going to give you the last day of every month of 2020 and obviously that should be greater than or equal to the join date of the driver that is d dot join date so you are available by the end of the month if you joined on or before the last date let me go ahead and perform this join and let's see if we have that information or not so from common table expression let's keep both the columns so c dot star and from the drivers we are only concerned about the driver id who all drivers are present right let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you go ahead and look at our output we have by january of 2020 you have two drivers that are available 8 and 10 by february you have 8 10 and 5 by march you have 8 10 5 and 7 and so on so you have the information now we also need that okay we have by the end of every month who all drivers are present but did they accept a ride or not because that is what is going to go in the numerator part of our formula so how can we go ahead and do that is read the question carefully it says in a particular month how many drivers accepted at least one ride so let us again perform another left join on the common table expression 2 that we created which basically has the ride id the accepted ride id when it was requested and who accepted it so let us perform a left join on cte2 let us alias this as c2 and how we are going to perform a join on firstly the driver should be the same because it should be available and accepted and secondly the last day should be equal to the last day of the requested ad that means on last day of your concatenated year month from the common table expression for every month it should be equal to last day of the requested at requested at is coming from c2 right requested at so c2 dot requested at and also your driver id should be d dot 
driver id is equal to c2 dot driver id let me go ahead and we also need to include c2 dot driver id right so these are the drivers who accepted so the first driver id that you are getting is which drivers were available and these and the second one is which drivers accepted a ride so let me go ahead and run this again now if i look at my output what i have here is so by end of january you had two drivers but none of them accepted anything right similarly by end of february none of them accepted anything and so on so what we need to do is now we have both the by the end of the month how many drivers are present versus how many accepted so you have both the numerator and denominator all you need to do is arrange it in a certain way so that we can calculate the percentage we need this for every particular month so what we can do is let us do this by group by c dot month return me c dot month in the numerator you need to have the number of drivers that accepted at least one ride that means c2 dot driver so let us perform a count of distinct such drivers so count of distinct such drivers and then let us divide this by count of how many are available so distinct d dot driver id this should be multiplied by 100 that is going to give you the percentage now you need to have it is possible that there are no drivers available so it will be divided by zero so it will come out to be null so if it comes out to be null you need to replace it to zero replace it by zero and you also need to round the thing to two decimal places so what we are going to do is let us round this entire thing to two decimal places and this should be aliased as working percentage and finally we also need to order this by the month right it says ordered by month in ascending order so order by c dot month let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output yeah this says accepted if we look at our output our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how it will so tricky question lengthy question confusing as well but if you just follow step by step what we basically did was firstly we got every month of 2020 then also got how many rides are accepted on what particular days and what driver accepted it now we have both of this information saved in common table expression 1 and 2 then we basically performed the left join on the common table expression 1 that we created to get okay how many drivers are present at the end of every month of 2020 and then we also performed another left join on the second common table expression basically the accepted rights to get okay how many of those drivers accepted at least one drive and then we grouped by the month and calculated the working percentage according to the formula given in the question so this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video